One of the most charismatic birds you will find in the forests of Worcester County is the pileated woodpecker. This large woodpecker is roughly the size of a crow and is easily identified by the triangular bright red crest on the back of its head. Their bodies are black with white stripes on the face and neck. When flying, the bird flashes bright white patches on the top and underside of its black wings. Pileated woodpeckers are fairly common in mature forests with hardwood trees. You will find them in large tracts of woods in Worcester County's extensive bald cypress swamps and in towns with old trees. They use their long bill to bore into trees for carpenter ants and beetle larvae. They often leave large rectangular holes in the rotten wood they're feeding on. They will also feed on rotten wood on the forest floor and probe the leaf litter and soil for insects. Pileated woodpeckers use their long barbed tongues to extract the ants and larvae from their homes. They will also eat wild nuts and berries and are known to visit backyard bird feeders for seeds and suet. In the spring, the male pileated woodpecker uses its chisel-like bill to begin excavating a nest cavity in a large dead tree. The female will help until the oblong entrance hole is complete. They will also clean up the inside of the nest by tossing wood chips out of the entrance. Babies hatch after 15 to 18 days and will remain in the nest for up to a month while the parents feed them. After the woodpecker family has left the nest, other birds and animals will often take them over. Pileated woodpecker tree cavities provide important nest sites and shelter for other woodpeckers, owls, bluebirds, bats, and even wood ducks. Enjoy a hike in one of our forested parks and watch for pileated woodpeckers when you're traveling Maryland's beach and beyond.